what I'm going to play in this. Kirkshire seems fun. After watching that Nintendo Direct, I'm all about the casual today. Maybe we'll become a ranked arena streamer. You are not prepared. Time played 4,000 hours, classic. Wonder who's like, who do you think won? The, the Nintendo Nintendo Direct, the the Warcraft Direct. If you watched it, who got the best announcement? Classic Andes, like OG Classic Andes, probably won. Follow the money to Bazaar. I'm not sure I could I could be convinced that Bazaar is the financial choice for anybody. No, Warcraft, got it. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah. They're going to print money with their housing? Yeah. I feel like this is one of those scenarios where you're like, say you're a World of Warcraft player. I'm not really a, a big wower. I, I jump in and out, you know, just casual play with friends type of stuff. And that infuriates my friends because they're like, you play well, you play with us. Why do you say you don't play that? Don't play well that much. So, okay. 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 You know, I play well, just, you know, in a very casual way compared to, you know, how I play other games, but they've been asking for this <laughs> since like wrath of the Lich King since like 2009, 2008. What was wrath of the Lich King? 2008. Think how many players there were back then. Think how many people were asking for this. Think how how this as a development, or this as a, uh, what are we, bomb comp? Memes? This is kind of interesting. How much money they could have made doing it early. I was asking for what? Player housing. World of Warcraft is implementing player housing in their next expansion. I think it's going to be Garrison 2.0. Yeah, that was kind of their take, right? Was that Warlords of Draenor? That expansion, they put in the Garrison. And the Garrison was like, everybody gets the same house, which is just not that cool. What is that? It's an independent place that your character can go and design to make their own space. An instance like, hey, it's a room and I can design stuff and walk around in it. Basically, The Sims, like, you know, Xenobos is saying. <laughs> it's The Sims for, for World of Warcraft. You can just, like, walk into your little home and take your shoes off and cry about world bosses or something. I don't know. What? I mean, it's, it's what people love in all games, right? Have you played Skyrim? People love this kind of stuff. Like, most everybody out there has played Skyrim. You get one of, like, any place that's a property that you buy, then you can offload your, your equipment and all that kind of stuff back at your house and then, you know, role play that shit. Skyrim's old enough to have a Twitch account? Yeah. I almost like taking this. I do really like taking careful investment next turn so I can trigger my... Uh, my hero power on the trinket turn if I want to. On the other hand, we could look at it as we want to use that when we level. So if that's the case, I think we pick it up, we unfreeze. Seems weird in Warcraft. I think it seems fine. Like, there's plenty of instance content, right? Like the idea that you and four other people go into a dungeon and you can't see anybody else. You clear the dungeon, you leave. Just think of that from the, think of it as like something like that, but for just you by yourself. Shit, there's delves at this point, which is literally solo content. Wait, am I an elemental Andy? Oh shit, I'm an Ellie Andy, Andy over here. So either I just take my trinket and level next turn, which I will never do if I'm going for this stuff. 
Is now cider to WoW? I figured it's just been a thing. Turns out it's not. Yeah, it's something that's like, it's been in most RT or RPGs for a long time. Like shit, even Wildstar, the MMO, tried to make that a centerpiece of the game launching back in, what was that, 2010 or so? A bunch of games have tried to do it. Probably because people keep asking for it. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a lot of power. Yep, 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 yep. I I fucking hate you, Trinkets. I, I just want... Like, I think this is the pain point that is, like, why this season gets repetitive. It's like, I put elementals all over my board, and the game's like, no elemental trinkets. Play the next 20 minutes, go next lobby. Battle cries don't seem very good in this scenario. I guess we're just going cheap and... and take random spells. Pain. Awkward. Less awkward. Awkwardness subsides. I guess it's just you. Which means, to be completely fair, I probably should have uh, discovered before using the, the strike oil. Definitely should have discovered before taking the strike oil. Elemental player gets to play elemental stuff. He's a cheater. On the other hand, we, we hit really well. So there's that. Hey, my favorite or least favorite middle child streaming today. I have middle child syndrome today, guys. I'm hurting a little bit. I wanted so badly for Hearthstone to give me what I wanted it to give me. And now I'm crying a little bit. Just a little bit. Small tears, you know, typical daily normal tears. Warcraft Direct just launched roadmaps for like all their games in the upcoming years. And the only thing they included for Battlegrounds is we get seasons. <laughs> it was just like, ah, oh. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's a bit, dis uh, all right, but just a little bit disappointing. Standard, here's the new cool things coming. Arena even got some stuff. Warcraft obviously took the, the lion's share of it. World of Warcraft Classic, all that kind of stuff. Even Rumble got things. <laughs> Battlegrounds is over here like nothing. <laughs> I feel like every other player in NCAA basketball other than Cooper Flag right now. Completely ignored. That's a reference for the seven and a half people in chat at the moment that pay attention to American college basketball. Made of salt? Definitely made of salt today. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Look at this beautiful. I am not one of those seven and a half. New young player that the analysts are touting to be like the best player since Michael Jordan. That's all you need to know. It's one of those, just like the, the Twitch conversation we have all the time, the zero or a hundred. There's no in between. We talk about people like they're the greatest thing since sliced bread or, or they're completely fucking awful. It's Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Just for, for men. It's the Caitlin Clark at home. Well, let's uh, buy time. Try to get more Azurites. And Prage, good value from my uh, witch wing. Who can get you? Before we burn too many stats.
Like, 1-1 one, one scaling is not competitive for playing bad spells. Here we go. Got our hero power. Weak. Now, I have mixed feelings on the subject. Not to derail into obscure sports and in the Americas for too long. But the guy, the man, came, shouldn't even be saying this, is literally a child. Like, when we're talking about people that committed early to go to college to play a sport, this guy isn't even 18 yet. Maybe we shouldn't just dump on the guy. <laughs> you know? It's just a, it's a child. It's a child playing a, playing a sport. But at the same time, it just, it's one of those, those moments where you, you watch like ESPN and you're like, they just have a script they're reading off of. Like, it doesn't matter what's happening in the game. They are legitimately just saying their dialogue that they had pre-planned to say for the game. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, mate. Nomi. <laughs> I don't want to play Nomi. All right. It's Nomi. It's always been Nomi. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm doing know me things. And I will circle all the way around on this one. I think he is the best player in the NCAA, probably. It's just funny hearing people talk this way. I got a lot of re-rolls, but every time I play a card, I gain a 2-2. Two -two. It's hard not to do that a few times. This could have been our, our homie that we, we stimmy. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. I think we want some level of power on the board. We're starting to uh, reach later in the game. And there is my 30th anniversary drop. Congratulations, dude. I hope you enjoy your mountain World of Warcraft or whatever it is. I hope it brings you happiness. It probably isn't anything that affects our stone battlegrounds. I can say that with confidence. <laughs> uh, just a little salt, guys. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can make Nomi into something actually playable. That is a really good hit there. Could backfire. Only 107 seconds to make these decisions, guys. We're going to be out of time. Save the other one. I'm running out of time. No sea glasses. No elementals. Where are my sea glasses?
Well. And so we reach the point in the game where we have to commit our stats to the board, otherwise we're dead. Our pretty little board made some, some 60-60s. It'll be great. Everything's going to be awesome. Nomi's totally competitive scaling. But for you, are you crying? I'm a little saddened today. I think this is uh, one of many, many giant red flags that the, the game has been been raising over the last couple, couple 10, 12, 15 months that are basically saying maintenance mode, maintenance mode, maintenance mode, right? You do the direct at the end of the month or the end of the year or whatever, the effectively the equivalent of the announcements at BlizzCon and you don't include a game. That's the StarCraft treatment, you know? That's the Heroes of the Storm treatment. It's all coming to a close. You're basically the equivalent of Mike Wazowski over there, the Hearthstone Battlegrounds community. <laughs> Logo over the face. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, kind of. Some world we want to level? What do we? What could we get that by leveling up that's really good? I don't know. Not much. I kind of like trying to play for this triple because it is a divine shield for me. This triple would be nasty. Animation speed needs work. Tell you what. I think I'm taking this or not. I would rather trigger this to be a pair. Then again, it's a native pair, so. Doesn't mean much. Uh, I don't think the blue shell's gonna work for me. Just a guess. This is kind of cute. We could bank it for glow scale turn. It doesn't matter. We got 80 seconds. Let's just play it out and see if we can find our golden recycling wraith. Find this triple. I should take this. I just didn't see it there in time. Oops. I don't want the natural statted one. That would have been a good minion had I been more... more. Stop it. Bro, why is it chugging so hard? I should take this. Once again, once you get into these animations, trying to be a little bit efficient and dropping a couple cards I should potentially have played or cycled. Dude, look, look how slow it is. It's crazy. It's not even like we have anything scaling. What's going on, game? Okay. So we don't care about that. Awkward. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Awkward. I really don't want to put three pairs down on the board, right? Otherwise, you have to sell through a different slot. Different slot is selling 100 100. Or you have to break a pair. Against the ghost, we can just greet it. Excited for the chain or the standard crossovers and nothing to do with BGs. I kind of like the idea of the StarCraft and Warcraft thing. I would have said no to that a while back, but like, Hearthstone's gone through its time period of being like super pure. You can do fun stuff. I'm on board. Game? Game? Tears coming down my face. Okay, we'll take it. I mean, I don't love it, but that was the risk we knew could happen. And there it is. As big as the golden one, just as shiny. 
louder than God's revolver and twice as shiny. Eighty four seconds, guys. The rush is on. Hey, there's a sea glass. What a big guy. Best thing about the Nomi being a trinket is you can't sell Nomi. If I could sell if I could sell my sticker right now just to piss off chat, I would. I would do it. <laughs> Remember the days of that conversation nonstop. Mm hmm. Well, he didn't have any attack, so that's good. But he does have Eliza, so like, that's not good. Nice. Good attack there, big guy. See if we can at least have that cleave go off. That'd be pretty cool. There you go. Good job, buddy. Fuck you, pirates. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Imagine running Eliza in current meta. I mean, it's good. Is it the best comp of all time? Nah. But sometimes you get to everything. You just didn't get to, you know, Golden Barons and whatnot with a billion gold. Still gets a top top four position. Okie dokie then, Bob. See what we can do over here. Also, let's see if... I know that says medium. If this helps at all. It's not actually running at medium. That's just the default setting it has. I'm curious if my frame rate going to like uncapped is fucking me over here with the animations. It is not. <laughs> Still doing the same thing. Whoops. We got double now. Repeatedly paws at the minion like it was should be viable. Can't just pick up good cards, triples at this point or everything. Err. I see. Sea glass. Sea glass. Sea bass. See ass. Damn you, game. Damn you, sir. Well, let's just hope nobody else gets good board states. It's not that much to hope for, right? Yeah, it's doable. Just hope all your opponents miss too. Dude, we're, we're fucking cooking. What are these hits? That was great. Starcraft's coming the Hearthstone bow for true. Tell me when it sends the bow. <laughs> Guy got beaten by the ghost. The Eliza comp got him. Let me know when, when it comes to battlegrounds, though. I'm holding out. <laughs> All right, what can we do to beat this guy? Aside from this triple is pretty nasty. Taunt is good. I don't have infinite time anymore. This is not that good of an effect. Against his board. Sure. Naturally. Why wouldn't I just not find elementals? Sure. That's one. All right, we only have 65 seconds. 
do have to think a little bit here. My boy. Protect our buddy. Uh huh. I want taunt. And preferably getting that triple at some point, but what are you going to do about that? You will never get this. <laughs> you will never get this. We hide the 2000 stat minion. He's not going to be able to beat it without being able to get scam cards to it. Question mark, question mark, profit. Now he's going to have to hide his scam cards. We've got to be able to hunt them. Taunt the entire board. Maybe find the last triple. Not that one. Not you. That one's okay. We can replace with another big minion. Given it decreases our number of taunts, which is kind of annoying. Sure. Would you stop it? Would you fuck off? Can't believe I'm spending gold on this shit. Here, have taunt. It's a little expensive. Got a lot of rolls still. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I don't like having that many minions taunted up front, you know? But I gotta play around Cleave in a way. Golden Bramble gives him an out. Olympus has fallen. All right. What I meant to say after all of this is Nomi's fucking OP. And if you guys aren't playing Nomi board, then you still gotta win like 47 times. But no me board's awesome. <laughs> We're over here. Barely hanging in there. We will not be scammed. Not this day. Awkward. Ooh. Can I find one more sea glass? Hmm, it's a vine shield taunt. If I want to just do that, go wildfire taunt you up. Hmm. 
one or the other. We chose poorly. So poorly. All sea glass all the way down. It's a final round, right? Almost every time. If we would have just taken the sea glass, we'd be in such a better position. Mm hmm. Not a fan. Big fan. Good job on the coin flip there, buddy. <laughs> All comes down to 50 50. I mean, he just delays repeatedly. We got to make one more minion that doesn't die to a scam card, but. Or dies only to scam cards. I guess Nomi's the best, actually. After all of that, Nomi's the best. 